Cool. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Sumitra, CEO, founder of Borde, and a former vice president at Cloudera. So we are, Borde is on a mission to provide industrial AI for other 95% of the industry uh, with our patent pending real-time AI and MLOps platform. A uh, quick origin story about ourselves. Uh, if you go back to 2006, the ground zero of big data was a company called Yahoo in the glory days. And uh, two companies came out of it, Cloudera and Hortonworks. Those two companies went separate ways, uh, went IPO, and then they joined forces in 2019 to better compete with the cloud guys. Uh, I was a vice president at Cloudera at Hortonworks and owed about 80% revenue at Hortonworks. So during my tenure, I launched uh, two of the biggest releases there. So one thing I saw during my tenure was there are a lot of companies I wish to work with, the Fortune 100 companies, big companies. They have a large data science team and they have, they have all the tools to build in-house solutions in-house, right? But if you look at the other 95%, they don't have that know-how. So how do you create this data science in a box? And that's what Borde was born. So I'm gonna walk you through a few slides uh, for, you, for your uh, view today. So the initial problem we're tackling is cross industry is um, multiple industries, high volume inspection. For example, food processors in California, they're struggling with stringent quality inspection and to minimize human labor, especially at pandemic and wage increase. The current AI alternative was not built for that and does not replace humans today. And this is a cross industry struggle across food processing, recycling, energy manufacturing, as you can see from the NVIDIA founder and CEO's code. The first and the second wave was focused on the fan companies and as a big part of the big data movement then. The going forward, the next wave is going to be industrial edge and robotics. So I'm introducing you today, the Tesla of industrial AI. We actually process more high, high volume data than Tesla, for example, petabytes in real time, never attainable before. And our focus is the grading aspect today. So our patent pending AI tech is about 20,000 times faster than humans and about 2,000 times faster than current AI. Uh, let's see in action in a few plans. So you deploy our plug and play solution in existing lines and go live in days. This completely eliminates the manual 0.1% grading. And our solution is very flexible that you can deploy in multiple places in the same plan. So a lot of use cases once you go in there. Again, board is on the fastest AI system for high volume. It enables full automation and demonstrate to pay for itself in, in 12 months. So let's go through how board is a game changer. So the, this is a field result from our, our, our production testing. So the grading of the final product determines the pricing and the customers are now demanding no more than five impurities in a million objects. And board is consistently seeing 50 impurities in a million nuts. If a human does it, a qualified human is gonna take them seven days to do that. So in terms of traction, 2020, we did a double diamond, started three concepts, two verticals, energy and food processing. In 2021, we got into a first revenue, about 500K with a million dollar in pipeline on top of our two paid pilots. We also made progress in video inception program and we were engaging with uh, USDA. So we have about 20 plus customer now and 1 million in our pipeline, uh, in our pipeline today, and that's what we're going to activate. We are um, going after a large emerging market and a quality inspection, ML ops. We also can opportunistically go after predictive maintenance, but that's more like a secondary option right now. Our deal has about 23 to 50K ARR and about 30K initial hardware pass through that we work with third party. So we are uniquely bringing inline high volume real-time AI to the market dominated by the rule-based system like Tomra, Key, and Bueller. And that's about two to three billion dollar market itself. Uh, on the ML upside, we'll be competing with Landing AI funded by the AI expert, Andrew Eng. 
We also worked on energy market, but again, that's not a focus. Our we'll bring squarely focus on quality inspection, computer vision for now. So our team has launched some of the biggest products in the big data industry. I was again VP products at Cloudera, own a pretty large portfolio there. Uh, Godam Nikunz, which would have been working on big data for the last 10 years. We also have a pretty uh, strong advisory board. So again, just to net it out, it's a we're going to a large emerging market with a lot of white spaces. We had the right core team to execute. We are starting to see revenue now, real revenue. That's a recurring revenue in production and are very capital efficient. And we have interest from uh, visas and interest now. So with that, I look forward to hearing from you and thank you so much for having me. And I can open up for questions. Thank you, Sumitra. Thank you, Sumitra. Any, any questions from the panelists? The judges. Hey, Samisha. So I have one quick question. So right now, uh, you know, the two of the largest agriculture states, uh, California and Texas. Yeah. So, of course, you know, there's many other states has very large agro. What are your top few markets in terms of state? So, good question. So, right now, because of pandemic, I we focused on our local market, which is California. And it's mostly a specialty crop, like almonds, pistachio, walnuts, and grapes. So, those are the top four target we have. But... The way we have designed our product is very unique and using third-party hardware. So we can take the same technology tomorrow and go after recycling. Anything that's high volume, we can go after minerals. Okay, got it. So maybe uh, another word to similar question, direct questions that uh, how do you how do you measure the traction yourself? So right now, honestly. I think your technology is pretty cool, but I have a little bit hard time to understand the traction is that, uh, what is a good traction looks like? What is the bad traction looks like? Uh, yeah, that's, um, you know, it's hard for me to assess that. I mean, you guys are best placed to see across multiple companies, but one thing I'll tell you for our companies, uh, especially AI companies with a deep AI tech, it takes time to build a technology. Um, I would say over a year. And it's not just the hardware part, but the AI model, because you have, these are not open source product or open source data, but you can go like a red, red, green bottles. We work at plants. We work at actually UC Davis and a few other plants to build our technology. And, and when you do it, they expect you to be 95% accurate. So that hardening takes time. And then once it happens, like our last deal closed in three weeks, this recently. So it's a, it's a word of mounted expanse, and that's where I think we are at that inflection point, I believe. So what, uh, uh, what type of help you think uh, people like us in the community can help you? So um, right now, a couple of things. Go-to-market help is very important for me. Um, right now, I chose California because I live close by. And we also build our technology, just the whole thing. So to get all the kinks out. But once I go beyond that, like recycling or other states food processing or outside US too. So that'll be, you know, I really need help to go to market expansion. That's one. Second thing is the stuff we're building has also a lot of third party OEM play. We're going to deploy it. We can deploy it in a robotics or a third party sorting machine. So there is an OEM engagement. So those are the contacts that I can really get benefit from. I have a question. This is Ido. Hi. Hi, great presentation. Yeah, thank um, you. My question is, what dependencies do you have on the production level in order to sell your solution? So um, if you look at all the, all the uh, deployments, you know, so we are retrofitting. We are not bringing that production down. So does food processing, they process 100 million pounds of nuts. So they cannot bring the system down. So the way we have done is 
we bring this kit. Uh, I don't think I might have a kit here. Um, we bring the kit and it takes half an hour to install it without stopping anything. So, so there is no disruption per se. And that's how I built it. But we are being in line, but we are without disrupting the flow. That's great. So that's uh, literally an easy add-on. On yeah, it is. Like, absolutely. Like the, the pictures you saw, we did not stop anything. It's the kit we get, third-party kit. We're not hardware guys, but we provide a software to third party. And, and they are really good in welding stuff. I mean, amazing. Like in half an hour, they build the whole thing in front of you. That's great. Thank yeah. you for sharing that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, very, very good. Uh, thank you again, Sumitra. Um, I think we are now ready to move uh, 